Welcome back. In this video, we do signing in with Google Play Games. In the next video, we'll do Apple Game Center, and then we'll come together again and do player data. Before we start in on this, I just want to show you the end result because this is not sign in with Gmail or an Apple account. These are Google and Apple's game-specific identity platforms, much like having an Xbox or Steam account. In the same authentication tutorial section of the documentation, go to Google Play Games and scroll down to set up a Google Play Games sign-in. First, we'll need to get the Google Play Games plugin for Unity. Click on the link. On GitHub, click on the current build package file. For you, it'll be 2.1 because it was just updated. Then you can download the package by clicking here. Then in Unity, go up to Assets and Import Package, Custom Package, find where you downloaded Google Play Games, and then we'll import everything. I do want to note here that we have external dependency manager files from the Facebook SDK. After importing this, we get a message that there are some obsolete files in our project. It's a good idea to check out the external dependency manager folder and delete the folder of the older version. You'll need to create a Google Play Console developer account, which I already have. So I need to create a new app. I'll give it the same name as the project. I'll mark it as a game that is free. And then I'll accept the declarations and click Create App. Now on the left, we need to go to Grow Users. Play Game Services, in Setup and Management, and Configuration. Then do Create New Play Game Services Project. OK, I have some random stuff here, which I don't want. We want to create a new cloud project, which gives us a pop-up and a link to the Google Cloud Console. Clicking this will open a new tab, and you should keep these two tabs open until we're done with this whole process. You may need to create a Google Cloud account at this point, but I already have one, so I'm going to create a project name. For the name, I'll make the same as the project. It can be anything, just as long as it's easy to make sense of what it's for. And then, I don't have an organization. You may want to add one. I'm just going to click Create. Then we have this whole other dashboard. We'll have to do a bit of back and forth here. Let's actually set up our consent screen now that we're here. Go to APIs and Services, and then to OAuth Consent Screen. Our Google Auth platform is not configured yet, so let's get started. Fill out the app name and email. I'm going to select external for audience because I don't have an organization. Email again and agree to the Google API services. Continue, create, and then we're done here for now. So let's head back to the Play Console dashboard. We're done with creating the Google Cloud project it should be in our Cloud Project dropdown, but you may need to click Refresh Cloud Projects for it to show up. Select the project and click Use in the lower right. In the Configuration page, now we have a checklist of stuff to do, and one of them we've already done, the Create OAuth Consent Screen in the Google Cloud platform we were just in. Next on our checklist is to create credentials. So scroll down where it says Android and Game Server. We need to create two credentials. Click Add Credential here and then click Game Server. Below in Authorization, we don't have any authorization clients to choose from. We need to create this in the Google Cloud Console where we just were. So go back to the Google Cloud screen and click Create OAuth Client. Now we need to choose the application type, and this is a bit of a gotcha. We want to do Web Application first. It automatically selects this one when you click the drop-down. Give this a unique name. I'm going to do Project Name and Web. So UGS Tutorial Series Web. And then click Create. And OK. And all right, the OAuth client is created. Now go back to the Play Console. Click Refresh OAuth Clients. Then in the Select dropdown, we can see the client we just created. Select that. And now we can see the client ID. Click Save Changes on the bottom right. Go back into Configuration, and there we'll see the new credential under Game Server. We need to make another one for Android, which will show up above. Go back to the Cloud Console where we made the first one, and again click Create Client. This time select Android, and call it Project Name Android. 
put in your package name, and then we need a certificate fingerprint, and we can see that we need the path to debug or production key store. Go back to Unity and let's make a custom key store that you can use the debug key store too. A key store is used to verify the authenticity of our app, and the debug key store is just for development. We need a custom one to be able to publish to the Google Play Store. In Project Settings, Player, Publishing Settings, click Key Store Manager. In the Key Store dropdown, click Create New, and then select In Dedicated Location. I'll put mine in the same place as the Debug Key Store, and I would suggest you do the same, or just put it somewhere easy to find, because we're going to need the exact path to the Key Store file in a moment. And I'll call it uh, the project name, I guess. Password, I'm not publishing this project, so I'm going to use the same password as the debug key store, which is Android. Definitely don't use that for projects you plan to publish. Alias is the identifying name for the key. I'm just going to put my name there, and the password should be the same as the password above. Okay, we can add the key, and then click Yes. While we have the project settings open, input your password. Select your key alias, and input the password again. Go back to the Google Cloud Console and the Client ID Creation page, because we're now ready to create this SHA-1 certificate fingerprint. SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm. We have this console command to get the certificate fingerprint, and I think the easiest thing to do is copy and paste this command into a new blank notepad document. Then we can add the path to the key store, and paste it into the command console. But just like I have here, replace this part with the actual path to your key store. For me, it's this. Wherever you saved it, you can navigate to the folder, and then click above and copy the path. With that together, let's copy the line and bring up the command console. And now let's paste the line, and press Enter, and then type the password. It doesn't show the password being typed, so just know that it is being input, though. SHA1 is the line that we want to copy. If you have an issue here, my notepad has a path to a folder to navigate to first before trying the command. You may have a different Java runtime environment version, so check your Java folder first so the path to the bin folder is accurate. All right, let's copy the SHA1 fingerprint and then paste it into that spot right there. Then click Create and OK. Now that we have an Android client ID, let's go back to the Play Console to add it. Click Add Credential. Go down to Authorization. Click the drop-down, and there's the credential we just created. Click Save Changes. Hang in there, we're almost done with all this dashboard setup, but before we go into Unity, go to Testers, which is also in Setup and Management, and then at the bottom, click on Testers, Add Testers on the right, and add your email or any email you have associated with your Android device in the Play Store. Keep these tabs open and head over into Unity. Go to Window and select Google Play Games and Setup, Android Setup, we need something called a resources definition and the web app client ID from the first credential we created. So go back into configuration. Then in credentials, next to add credential, you'll see get resources in gray. Click on that and then copy the XML here. Then go back to Unity and paste this into the resources definition. Just to be safe, check that your project package name is here and there isn't some placeholder name. And then we have the optional web app client ID. Let's just go ahead and get it. Go back to the Play Console, and that's not the Android credentials. Um, and I have two now because I made one for the debug key, by the way. So we want the game server credential, the one we named web. So copy the client ID. Go back to Unity, paste that in, click Setup, and Success. All right, after that, go to the same Google Play Games Setup menu in Window, 
and select the next item down, which is Nearby Connection Setup. There, in Nearby Connection Service, type your package name and click Setup. And then, once again, we get success. Love to see it. All right. Just as we added the Facebook and Unity account identity providers, let's add Google Play Games in Project Settings, Authentication. Select Google Play Games in the drop-down. Click Add. Then let's put in the client ID we've used before. And then Client Secret is new. So let's look for that. That won't be in the Play Console. It'll be in the Google Cloud Console in the UGS Tutorial Series Web. We can copy over the Client ID and the Client Secret is below that. I'll copy both of these over real quick, and then click Save. Now go back to the Play Console and click on this Add the Play Game Services SDK to your APK to use the APIs. That will take you to a documentation page. So scroll down a little bit. Scroll past Configure Your App to this dependency line here and copy that. Open up your main template and replace this Google Games line with what we just copied. I'm not sure why this line doesn't work, but the documentation suggested line does, so let's replace it. You can use single or double quote. I'm going to use single quote to be consistent here. Go back to Unity and open up the login manager we've been working on. The Google Play Games code is more or less straight from the documentation. Start with the Google Play Games and Google Play Games basic API using directives, but we only want them when building for Android. Let's then use a private field to store the server-side authentication token received from Google Play Games. We'll need this token to authenticate the player with Unity Gaming Services. In Awake, we initialize the Google Play Games platform on Android devices. We enable debug logging for development purposes. Activate the platform and immediately call a Google Play Games login method, which is the typical flow for most games. Login Google Play Games initiates the authentication flow with Google Play Games, and when successful, it requests the access token credential we'll need for Unity's authentication service. Start sign in with Google Play Games is intended to be called when the player clicks the sign in button. For this example, it first verifies the player's authentication status with Google Play Games, and if not authenticated, it tries the authentication process again and exits the method. Once authenticated, the player can retry, and the flow will proceed to the next step. In Sign In or Link with Google Play Games, we want to determine whether this is a brand new player or an existing player who wants to connect their Google account. Then we have our Sign In and Link methods. Sign in takes the Google Play Games token and hands it to Unity's authentication service, just as we've done before. We're saying, hey, this is a verified player. Please create an account for them. For existing players, we use the link method to connect their Google account to their existing game profile. We also have an error catch for when someone tries to link an account that's already connected. We'll definitely want to show a message to the player should that happen. Before you try building, go to your UI button and set up the on-click to trigger Start Sign-In with Google Play Games. After build and run, we see the login to Google Play Games happens right on Start, but we need to click to sign in to link our Google identity with the game. You'll see the successful sign-in log in the Android Logcat. Before we move on, an important note, when you upload your app to the Google Play Console, your sign-in will stop working. That's because Google changes the SHA-1 certificate fingerprint key on an uploaded app. The sign-in won't work anymore with the key we set up in the cloud. So you need to go to the Play Console to test and release, and then Setup and App Signing. Then paste whatever's here into your cloud platform ID, replacing the old one, and it should work again. If you develop for iOS, we'll do Apple Game Center next. Otherwise, you can head on over to the Player Data video. See you there.